So when the, the, cool, the cool, cold, dry air enters into the plate, as we're simultaneously bringing the warm, humid air, more humid air out across the plate, that heat energy is transferred and the moisture is transferred across the plates in the core. As Wade Paquin with the Build Show Network. Today we're at one of my project sites here in Newport, Rhode Island. This is a new custom home under construction. And I want to talk a little bit about the air quality of the home, right? Comfort is our top priority for our clients. So we want to really think about how we are managing the air quality of a house. And we do that through the use of what's called an ERV, an energy recovery ventilator. So today's homes are tighter than they used to be, right? Back in the old days, homes were able to breathe. So you would have uh, air leakage that would come in and it would exchange uh, the air and the humidity um, just by having those leaks in the old house. Now, today's homes are much tighter um, and we're particularly building at a much higher level and higher standard than code. So we've got a WRB system here um, that is um, a very good system and it's also um, sealed to the foundation. So we did a blower door test here um, just after installation and we were able to achieve a 0.7 ACH 50. So um, a very, very good number. When we get done blue board, basically have this house wrapped up and we do our final blow, blower door test, I'm expecting around a 0.3 ACH 50. So a very tight house. Now that being said, comfort, right? Comfort and air quality. The ERV is going to be able to um, exhaust the stale air. It's going to be exhausting pollutants, allergens, dust mites, mold spores, all these things that you don't want to breathe in. Our wall assembly on the exterior wall, so the interior side of the exterior wall, we're using a product called Sega Myrex. It's a uh, one directional vapor control layer. So basically um, any moisture that gets trapped in that exterior wall assembly is allowed to uh, permeate into the home. So we are potentially introducing humidity into the house. So with the ERV, not only can we control the air quality, but now we can control the humidity of the house. And to explain how an ERV works, I've got Lou, my HVAC guy with AL Mechanical. Good afternoon, Wade. Good to hey see you Lou. again. Good to How's see you everything? again, too. Very well. Thank you, Lou. Um, ERV versus HRV. Why did we choose to use an ERV here on this project? So, Wade, ERVs are energy recovery ventilators, where an HRV is a heating recovery ventilator. Here in the Northeast, we're trying to control both humidity and temperature. So an HRV addresses temperature, where an ERV also will recover moisture for mm -hmm. humidity. So that's why we chose the ERV here. So why don't we explain to the audience here how the ERV works. We've got a little diagram. We yeah, so we earlier. drew a basic diagram here, um, simplistic. You basically, it, the ERV consists of a core, which is a plate exchanger, and then it has a couple of fan motors inside that we use to move the air back and forth. For this one, we went with 130 CFM Renew Air ERV. This, essentially what happens is when this unit's on, we're drawing fresh, outdoor fresh air in. We allow the outdoor fresh air in to come through the fan, pass through the plate exchanger, and come into the building. We then simultaneously are drawing air from inside the building. We're, we're bringing the air counter flow across the plate exchanger and exiting it to the outside. So we, we don't create a positive pressure or a negative pressure. It's a, just a direct, even amount of airflow in and out. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the, the two major seasons we have here, winter and summer. So in the winter, when you've got um, that cool, cold, dry air on the exterior coming into the inside, how does this work? So when the, the, cooled, the cool, cold, dry air enters into the plate as we're simultaneously bringing the warm humid air more humid air out across the plate that heat energy is transferred and the moisture is transferred across the plates in the core